everyone and welcome back to Coffee Talk. Today is day two. On our first day we met three very interesting people. Um, there was Freya, who is a writer with Writer's Block, currently working on her very first novel. I think she'll be our most common customer actually. And there was an interracial couple, Baileys and Lua, an elf and a succubus, who are having some relationship issues because of their parents' prejudices. I think we've started off really in an interesting way and I cannot wait to find out what's waiting for us today. My name is Alex, this is my channel Volper Times and let's actually start off by looking at this newspaper. It's the Evening Whispers, which is the newspaper that Freya writes her short stories for and also I think the one... Uh, no, it was under the same publisher that could get her novel published if she manages to write it. And uh, today is Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020, blast from the past. And let's look at the headlines. Zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. Oh damn. You're telling me... <laughs> You're telling me there's a pandemic in every universe? Ugh, okay. Seattle groceries distribution problems harm local restaurants. Hey, we actually, I think that's what happened on our first day. Because um, the barista, um, our character, said that we don't have all our groceries. Like, the delivery man didn't bring everything that we needed, so we couldn't do all the drinks. That's interesting. And FIRE, or F-I-R-E, plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigration. There are, <laughs> there are definitely some heavy topics in this game, despite it being very cozy and very comforting in my opinion. <sighs> Alright, let's see what stories wait for us today. Let's start the day. Someone's coming in. Hey, there she is. Freya. Good evening. Good gracious. What is wrong with you? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry. But I'm so excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive, temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay. Just tell me. What are you going to write about? This coffee shop. What? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. Hmm, are you for real? Yes! <laughs> what if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. That's like a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know? It is, it absolutely is. Are you sure about this, Freya? Relax, I know that. I just need some inspiration for this place, from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Knifewalker novel versus movie level loosely based. The old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. That's already very different, you know? Is Knife Walker 
That's not a franchise from real life, is it? Or if it is, I've never heard about it. It might just be in the universe. If anyone has ever heard about it in real life, please write in the comments. You can't get more different than that. Mm. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about a coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Although you can't just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Freya, I'm sorry. What? Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to my loyal <coughs> to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me though. Anyway, I'm really excited to see who's gonna come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they have. Me too, Freya. Absolutely. Oh, we've got someone. Oh, hello. I remember you. I saw you on the on, on the phone thing on the Tomoda Chill. Okay, hello, Georgie. Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seems like you're in high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, Alex, no need to be that formal with me. <laughs> We're both on duty here. Hence the formalities. You're as stiff as ever. Anyway, I have a shift tonight. So, I'll need the usual. You have all the ingredients today? Not everything, but more than yesterday. That's good. Except for tea, I'm out of tea. Oh, I hope. You still remember my favorite, right? Coffee, with a hint of sweetness. Oh, do we have sugar? You got that right. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah. Thanks to your Tomoda Chill profile. Oh, I'm sorry, with a name. Everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. Anyway, a cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. Sweet, healthy coffee in a minute, but first, let's check if there's anything new. We've got Freya. Okay, that's the same as last time, I think. Uh, Georgie, friends only cafe. Yeah, that's the same too. Oh, we have Lua and Thales now. Okay. Lua. Birthday, 2nd of October. Votre âme est un paysage choisi. Oh my god, it's French. Um, how can I translate this? Your soul is... A space you choose, a paysage. How do I translate that? I would just say your soul is a landscape that you choose. But um, my French friend, who is definitely watching this, if you have a better translation for that, be free to write it in the comments. Otsuko, oh, there we have him now. And Thales. That is exactly the photo I would expect from him. <laughs> okay, Bailey's, 10th of August, freelance designer and number one pumpkin spice fan. Oh, we have his son. Freelance designer, museum and art gallery frequenter, art school graduate, will draw and design for food and shelter. You deserve much more than just food and shelter, my friend. You're such a sweetheart. All right, let's get to coffee making. All right, brew pen. What do we have? Um, a coffee without milk and with sweetness. Oh, we do have new stuff. Is that honey? Do we put honey in the coffee? Oh, and that's ginger beer. I thought we don't have tea. Oh, huh. okay. All right. Um. So, my first thought would be espresso, because without milk, and when we put, and then we put honey in there to make it sweeter, right? Hmm. <clears throat> Let's try that. Coffee, coffee, and honey. 
Is that actually something that people drink? I've never heard of that. Let's brew it. Oh, I love those animations so much. I mean, is it animations? I don't know. Honey coffee. Interesting. Let's serve it and see how he likes it. Coffee with honey for the man on duty. Oh, by the way. Yes, I am back with my hot chocolate. I'll take a sip. Ah, nice. Not everyone can manage this combination as well as you. Thank you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me with service like you gave the old pup here, please. What are you having? You still need to ask, huh? You never know. Espresso, of course. The one and only espresso. Of course, espresso. I, I know how to do that. I don't know. I don't need the... <coughs> Excuse me. I don't need the brew pad for that one. It's just coffee, coffee, and coffee. There we go. One triple shot espresso for the writer. Let's serve it. A starless night sky for the green-haired fairy. Uh, th that is... Uh, that is so much more poetic than what I just said. This barista is the person I strive to be. I'm not even sure whether that's a compliment or not. This is perfect. Yes. So, how's everyone go <coughs> How's everything going at the paper, Miss Freya? As usual. Awful. No, no. Smoking inside, huh? I guess that's how it works in this world. She's making a risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? A possibly life-altering deal. A very dangerous one at that. Okay. A deal she regretted. Not that much. Folks, seriously. Care to share the details properly? You tell him. She's secretly using her working hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. Mm -hmm. You got balls, I can tell you that. <laughs> that she does. She does, yeah. <laughs> Gee, thank you. How's the leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. And I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job, at least not yet. Her life will be pretty hard if she messes this thing up, though. Thank you for the reminder. So yeah, as Alex said, my editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet. But my novel is going to be published by our parent company anyway. So, technically, I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed off if she finds out, though. Wait, is stealing time a crime? Technically, I might have to arrest you. <laughs> hey, you do it all the time, too. Those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they might take longer than they're meant to, but still, coffee breaks. You're making me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad. Stop adding salt to the wound, okay? It's just a fact. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay, that was a bad laugh, I'm sorry. I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not, but if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours, so okay. 
Just don't mention that you like to do other things during the working hours. I don't know. I feel like Freya is more on the crime side than on the fighting crime side. I want to say thanks. But I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any idea what you're going to write? I have, actually. Oh, good. What will it be about? A coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. Oh no, he's panicking. <laughs> he remembers everything he said here. You're letting her do that? <laughs> There's no stopping her. What's wrong? Please don't write about any shady looking police officers who love to take breaks more than they should inside the coffee shop near their post. <laughs> <laughs> I will definitely write about that police officer. He'll make a good comedic character. Was that a compliment or are you making fun of me, eh? I would call that a compliment. Is it? I, I don't think so. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? Alex is probably worried about losing customers due to breach of privacy. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Come on, it's not like I'll be using real names. Yeah, you better not. And I'll dramatize most things I've heard, of course. That's even worse. Yeah, yeah, you're right, it kinda is. <laughs> Here's the thing. The stories I've heard, they'll only be the inspiration for what I write. By the way, as someone stationed here, I assume you've heard a lot of stories from the people around here, right? No. Come on! Nope. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you helped me once with one of the stories I wrote for the paper. The one about the secretly rich beggar hanging around the block. I'm sure you can give me other interesting tips. I helped you more than once, actually. What? Really? Now it's my turn to say come on. Which stories are you talking about? You asked for information about the busker. The one who's always playing his guitar, always got a rose with him. Oh yeah, that guy. Yes, poor guy. Oh no, what happened to him? Hearing about your girlfriend passing during an investigation is... Oh my god. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Uh, that's dark. I don't know. It's hard. I, I think that's like a severe understatement, but all right, Freya. He took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave him closure. He never complained that you used his story for the paper. I got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Well, at least he's become more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, the rose has become some kind of prop for him now. Anyway. Back to the topic. Yes, please. Any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Oh, tell me, tell me. Lately, this girl's been coming to a coffee shop in the area more than before. She's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is. But she has bright green hair. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. I was so excited to hear about something real. I mean, technically, it is real, isn't it? You think you're not real? Yeah. Wow, that went deep fast. <laughs> no, no existentialism in my cozy let's play, please. We already have enough dark team, uh, dark themes. Faster than my career going downhill. Aw, Freya. Hey. What's with the sudden mood? Yeah, cheer up, girl. Ugh. Sorry. 
I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, why this coffee shop? Um, because I spend a lot of my time here, I guess. And then there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. <sighs> what about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't approve. When I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. It's been told in fictional form countless times before, but it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are they regulars here? Nope. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with her co-workers or clients. Helping her friends sober up, I guess. You gave people coffee to sober up? Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Hmm, good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shift. Oh yeah, go on and do your job, old man. Don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. Let's not make this a habit. Can't promise you that. Okay then. See you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. Bye, Georgie. I'll take a sip of hot chocolate. Hmm. I think I need to go back to my writing. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. Good luck with the writing. And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. The service I'm offering here, my, my. Oh, you're just the best, Alex. You're welcome. Okay, off to the world of imagination I go. Go on, good luck, Freya. It's not the end yet, is it? No, of course not. That's a little too short. Hmm, that should do for the experiment. Ah, someone's coming. Ooh, some new people, nice. Okay. That's, uh, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> hmm, okay. Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala. Deep voices. <clears throat> Hi, Alex. Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. Oh my god, the eyes. Shifty eyes, okay. Um, this is the place you recommended? You don't like it? It's fine. I know it's not like the coffee shops you're used to in LA, but... Gala, it's fine. Uh... Sorry to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? Yes. What do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please? Coffee and ginger? I did, do I have anything for that? Cafe latte. I don't think I have anything like that. Okay. Am I just... I think I'm just supposed to do it like this. Okay. Coffee... Coffee and I'll add ginger. 
That is extremely bitter. Are you sure you want that? God damn. I have never heard of such a drink. But let's see what comes out. Oh boy, I um Oof. Uh I'm German, so <laughs> Um my first guess would be Tahe Tubruk. I have no idea if that's correct. If I'm not, please correct me. Um coffee with ginger. Interesting. So I guess that's a real drink. Right, let's serve it. Your order is ready, sir. Thank you. How about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. Not sure if it'll be to your liking or not. Okay. I'll have whatever he is having. Well... It's just the same again. Okay, there we go. I hope you like it. Here's your order. Smooth. Hmm. Good choice. Anyway, how's the town treating you so far? Same old. I was surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things changed a lot in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop. I believe this was a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop? We opened around six years ago, Mr... Hyde. My name is Hyde. He's not... The Mr. Hyde, is he? Hmm. From what I gathered, you're from LA, right? I am. I used to live here decades ago, though. Is oh my god. Hold on. Are they a vampire and a werewolf couple? I this is very obviously werewolf coded. This one is very vampire coded. Oh my, oh my, I really want to hear this. What brings you back to Seattle? Me? I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot. I see. You two have known each other a long time, I assume? You could say that. Yeah, I think we met not so long ago. Uh, not so long after you got married, right? Oh, so they're not a couple. Okay. I think. If the marriage is still holding up. I don't know. It was around the 60s, I believe. Wow, that was a long time ago. Not for our kind. Wait. If I'm not mistaken... The peace treaty between werewolves and vampires was signed in 1865. So, when you guys said you met in the 60s, were you talking about the 1860s? Oh my. <laughs> uh, did I say something wrong? <laughs> no. We met the 1960s. Sipsy. We're old by some racist standards, but not that old. Although it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. This was the place, wasn't it, where we first met? Yeah, when it was a bar. They moved. Bankrupt. Oh, such a pity. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh... Yo, 
you're happy with the bar closed down? What's with the smile, if you don't mind? Eh, nothing. I was just wondering. Will history repeat itself? Hey! Come on. I I I'm doing great, I think. I certainly hope not. I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened. I've got something special here. It won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gala. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Busy at work? Kind of. With the news about that newfound virus going viral. The hospital has been extremely crowded. Oh boy. Is the virus that dangerous? No one is sure about that. I mean, if it's comparable to what we had in our universe, I'd say yes. But most people who come in are just... I don't want to use this word. But they're just paranoid. Hmm. You're still doing the same job in the same hospital. What was it called? Admission officer. And yes, I'm still a hospital. <laughs> I'm still a hospital admission officer there. They should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. They offered me a mana <coughs> managerial position, but I declined. I prefer doing this. That's respectable. To each their own. Anyway, I was wondering... Do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore, they can just order through that blood marketplace app. Are you talking about Bloodlast? Mm-hmm. Bloodlast get their supply from the hospital. They can't certify blood on their own. Only hospitals and their Ministry of Health can do that. They're just middlemen with a lot of sales promos. You use it often? Not really. I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? But I do know the founder of that startup. Oh yeah, how's your vegan diet going? It's not easy, but nothing I can conquer. Excuse me for asking. By going vegan, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Not real blood. Ooh. Synthetic blood. Synthetic blood. It'd be too complicated to explain. But basically, some scientists are working to make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind. Without relying on real blood. Considering real blood has some cultural and health concerns. I guess so. These are some really interesting lore facts about this universe. I really like this. Does it taste the same? More or less, yeah. Isn't it expensive? It is. I can afford it, though. Mm, rich vampire. But again, they're still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Hmm. Would synthetic blood taste good? If mixed with other ingredients? Oh, am I gonna get some blood drinks to serve at my cafe? Why? You want to start selling blood-based drinks? might attract new customers and turn off others fair point honestly I don't know if mixing it would taste good most vampires prefer drinking raw blood although some do try experimenting with um, other things other things mostly booze but I know some mix it with not so legal substances. Oh boy. Yeah. You know a lot. 
I work in a hospital, remember? Hey, talking about my vegan lifestyle reminds me to ask you something. About what? Your monthly fury. Oh, so he is definitely a werewolf, yep. I promise I'm not slow, I just like to be completely sure about it. Found a less painful method to restrain yourself? Not yet. But I do know that it's a drink. What kind of drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Oh, okay. Is that why you ordered coffee with ginger? Yes, I'm exploring the possibilities. But this drink wasn't the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess there's too much caffeine in coffee for it to be a remedy. Why don't you use the Fury sedative available on the market? I don't trust them. Besides, that sedative is too... general. Each of us has our own remedy that we need to find. And sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Enough to calm me down. And that's all I need, to be honest. At least your calming method is only a drink. Hold up, I'll need a sip. Ah oh shit, it's getting cold, I'm not drinking fast enough. I heard some werewolves need to do... I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. On the YouTube, I mean. Alright, I will just um, certain stuff to soothe themselves during their fury. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are they gonna go deeper in this, into this conversation? Because... Hmm... Oh, you know what? Screw it. I'll just read it out. What kind of kinky? Like... BDSM. That only happens in porn. Oh boy. Wait, what? It's famous among our kind. Okay. That's an in interesting lore fact. I'll be writing that down. Thank you. You don't have to feel ashamed if you like watching that kind of thing, you know? Hey, a friend told me about it. Mm -hmm. Well, he was pulling your leg. Damn. Some hopes crushed, Hyde? Hmm? I mean, having sex as a calming method is pretty common. But normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it, it would be pretty brutal doing bondage stuff during the Fury. How deep are we gonna get into this conversation, bros? Exactly. So, oh, thank god. So, continuing with your story. How far along are you in finding the ingredients for the remedy? So far, all I know is it involves ginger. And probably something lightly caffeinated. Like tea, maybe. You better write that down. We don't want him wreaking havoc in the coffee shop. We don't have any tea today, but the next time you're visiting, maybe I can try brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. All good? I'm sorry. 
I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. All right. Thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit this coffee shop again before I go back. So, I'll see you around. Thank you for coming. Take care on your way home. Bye, guys. Thank you for the interesting conversations. Hey, Freya. Hey. Are you done with your writing for tonight? Kinda. Those two guys... Kind of reminds me of this video I saw online. Um... I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. It's a video of a wolf pup playing with a baby tiger. Oh, okay, yeah. It's nice to see friendships that grow in unlikely circumstances. Oh, that video. What? What video did you think I was talking about? Listen. <laughs> Listen. A vampire twink and a buff werewolf go into a bar. And you expect me to not have certain thoughts about this. Like, this is... This is everyone's favorite fanfiction. Come on. Don't, don't blame me for this. You know... <laughs> Oh, never mind. You? <laughs> I was just joking. Please don't do jokes. You're really bad at it. Thanks. Anyway, it was a pretty interesting and productive night. But now I need to go get some sleep. Yes, please don't forget to get some rest. I'll see you again tomorrow, I assume? Oh, don't you worry. I will be here tomorrow. Night-night. Be careful on your way back. Bye, Freya. And I think that is the end of the day. Oh, STMJ. Warm booster made of Susu, Telur, Madu and Chahek from Indonesia. Oh... I love this. There are so many different drinks in this game. Like if you if you look at the brew pad, you can see that we have a lot of stuff to unlock. I love this. Okay. Ah. I think this was a very interesting day. Some very interesting encounters and conversations. I hope YouTube does not eliminate me for this. Um, but yeah, I think that is the end of the day. And I can't wait to see what happens on the next one. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you again in the next one. And bye bye.